All right, earlier this morning I went out and I scraped all the top dirt off of here to try to get some of the potworms out. You can see I obviously missed some of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch still in there, but I don't mind them at all. I really just wanted to see if I could get these to put in my special worm bin for, uh, for the potworms. So if you come over here, this is where I put the potworms this morning earlier. And if I dig around in here a little bit, you can see right there how they kind of clump up. And I really, really like potworms. I think they're great. Um, they make an incredibly good soil. And um, what I'll do is I'll take these once I've separated out most of the actual potworms from the soil. Because I'll want to put the soil back into my regular bin. And it'll have a lot of potworm eggs in it so they'll reproduce in there which is no problem. But there, there's some more right there too. And then um, I take them over to this other bin over here. And I just add them to this special bin right here where I put kind of my acidic food and my extra food. And, uh, and they breed in here really, really well. And um, they live right alongside the red wigglers. There's not so many red wigglers in here because I kind of try to take them out. But um, just a ton of these potworms and they make a great soil. So if you don't like them in your regular bin, you know, put them, make a special bin for them because they're really, really good to have in your soil. I want to show you one other thing here. Um, if I only have a little bit to take out, and they don't, or a little bit of soil to get rid of the worms in, I'll just make a pile like that. And then you just sort of scrape away at the top of the pile, and somewhere in the middle, there'll be a whole big ball of them. They'll congregate in one area. So you can take those out and uh, put them, you can feed these to your fish. Fish love these. Or you can, um, Put them in your special bin, or you could throw them away, I suppose, but I just make another bin for them. They're great. Or put them with your regular plants in your potted plants. They're super good for your soil. Now, when I first found these, like I said in the blog post, if you happen to read that, um, when I first saw them, I was all excited because I thought, wow, look at all these worms. I got a gazillion little baby red wigglers. Well, come to find out, obviously, they don't grow up in the baby, or they don't grow up in the red wigglers. They stay like this, but they're still really good for your soil. Like I say in, in the post, too, if you have a lot of potworms, it's probably because your soil is too acidic. Like, I let my food in one of my bins. I have a bunch of worm food bins, but not this bin, but a different bin got um, fermented. Because I it was too wet and I didn't add enough coconut core to it, so it started to ferment. And boy, they love that fermented food. They just love that acidic fermented food. And it's not always the best for worms. So if you got the potworms, it means you probably have acidic food. The moisture content, they potworms do like it to be more moist, but you don't have to worry about that as far as killing your worms because I mean I found worms in just a slurry. So the moisture content is not going to kill them for sure. So yeah, if you end up with potworms, don't worry about it. They're really good for your worms, good for your worm bin. They're natural occurring. These all just migrated to my bins on their own. Um, every single one of my worm bins and my garden bins, all of them have potworms in them, and I like them. They're good for my soil, so you want to keep them too. Definitely don't get rid of them.